Hey guys, Daniel Thiessen here from Raiders Performance, and today's exercise of the week is going to be a push-up. Now I know you guys all think you know how to do push-ups, and it's very simple, but there's actually a lot of different key points you need to look into while you're doing a push-up to get the most out of the movement. So I'll take you down here. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your hands line up over your shoulders. You don't want them in front or behind. You want to make sure that your shoulders are lined up with your hands. The other thing you want to make sure that you do is that your feet are going to be together and your body is going to be in a completely straight line. Now, you do not want your hips to sag and if you, you do not want your butt in the air. Two really bad mistakes. Make sure your spine is straight, your core is nice and tight, and the other thing you don't want to do is have your head go down or go up. You want your spine completely straight. From here, you want to make sure that your elbows are tucked and they stay alongside your body as you go down. As you go down, you want to make sure you get right to the ground, and from there, you're pushing straight up. Okay, my whole body is in complete alignment. My elbows are tucked. I get full range of motion. Now, when you do this properly, you're not only engaging your chest and your triceps, but you're working your core. So, when you learn how to do it properly, you're engaging a lot more muscle than you would be if your butt's in the air, your hips are sagging, and you're gonna get a lot more benefits that way. When you learn how to control your body weight, everything else in life becomes easier. So add it to your routine, make sure you're doing it properly, have a trainer watch you, or a friend watch you to make sure those key points are on and you'll be good to go.